Hello lovely people. So you might think this video looks a little bit familiar if you've been subscribed to our channel for a while and that's because we actually released a version of it in 2018 but we had to take it down because we got this letter from some lovely lawyers at Velcro pointing out that we had actually called their hooky loopy product, so this stuff that sticks to each other uh, that we all know very well, we called it Velcro and technically it's called hook and loop, not Velcro. So uh, we took our video down, partly because we thought it'd be funny to re-release it as this version, uh, but also partly because we didn't want to get sued. So here is our amusingly redubbed version of our Velcro, sorry, I mean hook and loop video. Enjoy. This is a special episode of Kids Invent Stuff all around one of our favorite everyday inventions. Hook and loop. Kids Invent Stuff. So today we're playing with hook and loop. And loop. So why are you wearing a NASA uniform? Well, some people think that NASA invented hook and loop, but they're wrong. Mm, Actually, it was okay. invented by a Swiss engineer called George de Mestral, and he invented it when he was out walking with his dog, and he noticed that lots of burrs were sticking on its fur. Cool. And so he decided to have a look and work out why that happened, and that's how hook and loop came about. Nice. So let's see how hook and loop works. The furry side of it actually has a whole load of tiny little loops and then the rougher side has a whole load of tiny hooks which join onto the loops and let it stick together. And we're going to show you now, using this microscope, exactly what it looks like. So this is the furry side of the hook and loop with all the little tiny loops in it. And this side of the hook and loop is covered in tiny little hooks that hook onto the hairs on the loops on the other side of the hook and loop and allow the two to stick together. So that's how hook and loop works, but this channel is all about building crazy invention ideas. So we thought it'd be really funny to make a hook and loop jacket just so we can put hook and loop to the test and see how strong it can be. Hook and loop. It's amazing! Sean's turn. Hook and loop. So today we've confirmed that hook and loop is indeed awesome and that you can suspend somebody from a digger in the air using just hook and loop. We've also confirmed that Sean can't skate. I really can't. But you can tow someone behind a car using hook and loop. So thank you for watching this special episode of Kids Invent Stuff and join us next time to see what happens when we build another crazy kids invention. See you next week. Bye! Bye. Kids Invent Stuff. <laughs>